Hello and welcome to the AQ News, where a man with no membership talks about items that may or may not be coming to the game in the future. Let's get into it. Okay, first up we have a tweet from Alina that is previewing some Zero AC gear in the lowest resolution image you could possibly find. Here's what it looks like zoomed in. Not sure how they got an image this low resolution, but anyway, uh, yeah. So it got kind of like a fire sword with a cape that kind of looks like a, like it's coming out like a sun, sort of sun rays or some, something like that. So interesting stuff. It's pretty bad contrast with the background map, but we'll have to wait to see how that actually looks like in game because you can't really tell how good that looks right there. And definitely some A ranks art on the armor. This really cool armor set from Sculpin, or I'm not sure who worked on like flashing it and all that, but it's, I think Sculpin came up with like a concept for it. Is coming out uh, this weekend and it will be available till the end of June. So pretty small time frame for availability. I really like the hat on that. Definitely gonna pick that up at least out of this set. But uh, yeah, and the cape is actually really nice too. I think it might have an animation on it as well, but it's just an image here. So yeah, we'll see that in game tomorrow. Okay, so uh, there's some new pride gear coming with the release also tomorrow. That will be some stuff from Van and stuff in this image. Really like the hairstyle and stuff that Van did for that set. The yeah, the armor looks really great as well. So yeah, some gear from that, some new stuff that will be not rare but seasonal. So they'll come back every year. So, but yeah, some new stuff for this year at least. Uh, I asked if there was going to be a proper summer release like last year's. And uh, the response to that, actually there's two here. So we'll go through those. Uh, all our seasonal summer maps will return this week along with seasonal summer gear. The new summer collection will arrive in July. So there will be a collection of summer items, probably a 10k chest, and then you know you can buy them individually as well. Uh, so there will be that sort of thing in July. But as far as a actual release, there will not be in a, like an actual summer release. It's going to be part of the Shadow of War Plane of Fire saga and a Dragon Fable and a Chronomancer update. So this is probably all the bulk of the stuff for July right there before uh, the actual update design notes. We'll have to wait for the actual design notes post the event calendar to show up. But for now, that's what we know that's coming out in July. Chronomancer updates sound interesting. I'm not too sure what that's for. The Dragon Fable items are going to be cool too. I kind of kind of upset or kind of sad that there's not going to be an actual summer release and it's just going to be the Shadow or Plane of Fire stuff. But eh, it should be all right. We'll, we'll see what happens with it. Really cool commission uh, that Rest got from Wataro. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Uh, shoe looks really nice. The, the uh, what do you call it? Reaver. Not the Reaver. The Scythe looks really cool. And uh, yeah, the jacket. Ooh, the jacket. It's really cool. Definitely my style of jacket there. So some really cool stuff there from that commission. I think it's the last commission uh, Kotaro had uh, up on the block. I think he's done with commissions for now. I think the next gear he has coming out is going to be in August, from what I read on Twitter. So yeah, we might see some previews of that in the next few weeks, but yeah, good stuff there. It's taking a break for a little while. August is actually, we got June, July, August is like a month and a half away. But anyway, yeah, so good stuff there, but he is going to be taking a little break for a while. From what I read, there might be stuff pops up, who knows. Weapons for an upcoming set from Lei. Here we got the typical Holoborn stuff. I. Don't know if the orange is gonna be color custom on the set. We haven't we've only seen it in orange, but it might be color custom. So yeah, if you like that kind of stuff, some more gear to match your other Holoborn stuff is coming out. Probably for the summer collection or something like that, related to that, maybe. It'd be a cool daily drop, but it's a one-piece swimsuit with a nice glowing tattoos, flame hair. I think the flame is a little much on the hair, but hey, it's I'm not gonna complain. Really cool stuff from Snowverse here. I think Alina also retweeted this uh, with the retweet that said, uh, with the quote tweet that said aq.com. So probably confirmed to be releasing or good good likelihood it's going to release a really cool outfit there. I wonder what the male version is going to look like for that actually. Some more casual sets from Van. I uh, really likes doing casual sets it would seem and I really like seeing them. So good. Good stuff there. It looks like he got it all cleaned up. Uh, these might be flash files. I think, I think, I think they, they do look more like that. So yeah. Some good stuff there. Darkin giving us a sneak peek for art for the next saga. So it's probably for the flame saga that's coming out within the next uh, month or so. Actually, we have part uh, part two will be on the 25th and part uh, one is going to be starting tomorrow. So yeah, looks very similar to Blazebinder. Maybe they're doing some stuff with Blazebinder, new class updates, something like that. Maybe I wouldn't hold your breath on that one. 
Darkon also give me a little update on uh, event names for Darkon Saga Part 4 and 5 in August. Uh, so Part 4 is Catalysmic... Catalyst? Catalyst? I don't even do it. Words are hard. And uh, Part 5 is the price of a thousand sins. So yeah, so two different uh, parts in August for Darkon Saga. I, I think they might both be in August, but yeah, at least one of the parts will be in August. A really cool swimsuit that Tiny made. Uh, yeah like this quite a bit there's another version on their twitter if you want to go check out link in the description uh without the uh kind of like black part up there and uh, yeah so cool stuff there really nice also a hairstyle uh that kataro helped out with that uh yeah looks really cool so it's really nice stuff i like the face tattoo quite a bit seems like we're just skipping over july <laughs> i mean we got we got some information about july earlier in the video but it seems like all this stuff's in august already planned out but yeah anime inspired set and from Thyronius that confirms to be releasing in July. I uh, got a better look of it right here. I actually have no clue. Sometimes I have a general clue of what anime it's from. This one, not, not a clue. I'm sure the comment section will tell me. They usually do and tell me I'm uncultured for not watching every anime that ever existed. But anyway, so yeah. Anyway, so yeah, it's really Thyronius is this, like, that's his art style incarnate right there. So he loves doing like old chain stuff. So uh, Klee. Which is a character from a Genshin Impact in the AQ art style from Steffi. Chances of this being actually in game? Uh, probably zero or less than zero, I, I would think. But it still looks really cool and thought I'd show it because it's kind of related to AQ anyway. Something that isn't from Genshin, at least I don't think. Uh, this one from uh, kind of like a, a light based, like angel, whatever. Yeah, kind of reminds me of Lightcaster, sort of that style uh, art from Steffi all as well. Very nice looking. I feel like I showed this a few times in the news video, but yeah, some updates for the hairs uh, that Steffi's been working on. So yeah, love the uh, braids and all that, the uh, ponytails, and yeah, just a crazy amount of variety here. And uh, yeah, good to see. Always down for some new hairstyles. Speaking of, uh, Steve here with some new stuff. It's always got a brand new hairstyle. Don't zoom in too close. It's kind of like hair on top of an image of a character, not the actual character. But anyway, yeah, some cool ideas for new hairstyles here from Steve. Uh, even more. Just crazy, just pumping them out like a lot, a lot. So, yeah, some cool stuff there and some good ideas. Hopefully, we'll see some more in game. Also, Steve with some uh, casual uh, kind of outfits, some female ones. Yeah, looking good. All the two tone hairstyles. See, these are hairstyles I think have only been shown here as well. Just absolutely crazy. This one would be really sick. Oh, especially if you get a two tone. Man, that'd be a great hairstyle to have in game. This one. Woo. But uh, anyway, I, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. We got that elemental plane of fire saga going on and this might be related to it from daniel here or or just pp2 i guess is what he has as his name but yeah so this could be coming out in the future the dragon flame tattoo is really cool you can't really see it on the female version that well but yeah really clean set from pinwheel here uh, i think this is of his own character uh but yeah the armor mixed with the clothing there in the middle looks really nice it's really well done only thing that I think looks a little off is the shoe. Looks a little little weird, uh, but other than that, it's really great. Smart from Gabriel Arts here. Uh, follow him on Twitter, link in the description. But uh, yeah, it's kind of like a crystal. The the crosses here kind of look like the ones they used on Legion stuff in the past. Uh, but the armor, is, which you can tell from the shoulder, it looks a lot like a Legion a vampire quite a bit. It's like a crystal Legion vampire. Uh, kind of holborn vibes from like the glyphs there, but uh, yeah, cool stuff there. All right, last up for the video is this anime character, another one uh, from a show I haven't seen again. Wow, who would have thought? Anyway, yeah, it's actually a really good rendition of the character. I've seen this character quite a few times. I don't, I, yeah, Yumiko or something like that. Anyway, uh, yeah, cool rendition, really nice from Achilles here. Go check him out on Twitter. And uh, yeah, that's the end of this. If you missed out on drops, there was some new stuff today, including these pets. Uh, you got the cute and the uh, whatever the bottom ones are supposed to be versions uh, that are drops. You got this armor and helmet uh, with the barcode tattoo on the face, the ear pods or whatever, and the ears. Really cool. Uh, actually, funny thing about this, uh, I asked Katara what the reference for the shoe was with the little like lock looking thing on it. He said he just made it up, apparently. <laughs> So yeah, if you're wondering what, what what the shoe is supposed to have on it, I, I don't I don't think even he knows. Anyway, uh, there's a lettuce uh, birthday gear from the ninjas yokai boat. So it's like kind of like a gun mounted on a blade. 
interesting stuff there. And this armor was available since Friday, so it's kind of like a week old already, but thought I would throw it in here in case you haven't got it yet. So pick that up, uh, that will be rare. So, yeah. Hey, big thanks to all the channel members for supporting the channel and making videos like these possible. Really appreciate the support from the channel members. And thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like on the video if you like to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I'll see you guys all in the next one for next week. So, yeah. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll be live tomorrow checking out the new release and all the stuff released with the release, all the items and everything. We'll be looking at that on the channel. See you then.